closed and they're still you know, slowly and you know, redoing the streets with and the everything. money. It's, yeah, yeah. where the money comes in. It's an investment, but and, I think and a lot of people could blame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about us? Yeah, well, Don't forget us down here. We're part of it. <laughs> we're fortunate the the uh, pirates and marauders have been putting a lot of money into the stadium. So do you get do you get traffic on, during the games? On yeah, I get quite a few people that park because uh, they park along the streets, and I'm only two blocks away from the stadium, so they walk that by and that would be a big calling card mm -hmm. before and after the games, I would think. Yeah, I'm working with them for some marketing ideas. Now, what about beverages? Do you sell those as oh, well so besides coffee and tea? We have some juices and some waters. I mean, the coffee, espresso, cappuccino, and the flavored drinks are our staple, and we try to do a couple of seasonal. Uh, iced teas and stuff. I was just thinking about the that with the stadium there and oh, yeah. you know getting their traffic. Those people mm -hmm. have just been drinking beer. Are they really yeah. waiting for coffee or tea? So. Oh, coffee to wake them up or something. <laughs> Before they drive home, they better yeah. fill up oh, yeah. and get rid of that buzz. <laughs> no buzz driving. No. <laughs> so, you are you in business with anybody else, or is it totally yours? Do you have employees, or are you a partner? Well, I, I'm 100% owner, but I've got uh, two part-time employees, and I've got some student interns that work with me. Oh, so some of those that work with yeah. you at, at the Culinary mm -hmm. Arts in a, Institute yeah. are also working also, with you. They're yeah, interning. Them, yeah, absolutely. So they get to that see both sides so of the, cool. the page. They get to see the real-world experience and how to apply it, and they get to, you know, we talk about cost and everything, but now I get to look, see how much it costs to produce a loaf of bread right. versus how much we sell it for, and how to make money. That's really, really yeah. cool. How often do you do that? Do you take them on for a short period of time, or do you yeah, do it for, like, the, during the year, you'll take them, you, you switch them in and out? It's pretty steady. They, they're on, like, a two-week rotation, so I'll two, get, okay, uh, that's what get I was one saying. or two for two weeks, and then they switch. And, and they get practical experience yeah. to see if they actually like doing it. Like, oh, don't you wish you'd had that for the <laughs> graphic arts oh, yeah. thing instead of actually yeah, signing on to it? if I could shadow it. somebody or would have saw, wow, this is kind of boring. <laughs> exactly. I <laughs> may not really want it. this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think practical experience and internships like that are so important. Mm -hmm. So that is wonderful that you're providing Absolutely. that. Now, do, the, do you pay them minimal wage when they're helping you, or is it just no, it's it's part of their school credit? School credit. So, that works for you because yeah. you're giving their teaching time mm -hmm. and they're, okay, that's really yeah. cool. It's but you're, they're not paying me. you when, the school doesn't pay no, you no, when no. you intern them. No, so I get a little bit of help, but I invest a lot of my time training, training them and hands-on. So it absolutely. slows things down. But what it's a great, great partnership. Yeah, great bartering type partnership. Yeah. <laughs> I'm training them and they're learning if they really want yeah. to do this when they grow mm -hmm. up. <laughs> Did you have any opportunities like that when you were going to the technical school. Did you intern anywhere? I did not intern anywhere. So this we is were a pretty active in the community, doing events and stuff, and doing caterings and stuff through the school. So, but this is a special type of yeah. thing. Now, back at the school, did mm -hmm. you, have you suggested that they try to pull other interns in from maybe one of the big restaurants or something, where they're pulling people in to see how the yeah, big big places? We're trying do it? to build a program. We've got. Um, Actually, a guy at Artesia is trying to get a student in, and we've got, um, I think, down at the, the New University uh, Mall, oh. uh, University Town Center. I think there's a restaurant uh, or the, two over there. there that's doing yeah, the same thing. Yeah, that's kind of taking interns. What a great yeah. opportunity for good chefs, mm -hmm. because there is a oh, difference absolutely. between a cook and a chef. Yes, I'm absolutely. a I'm a great <laughs> cook, but I am not a chef. I don't. I I can't really get out there and even try yeah. to put that hat on because I'm not making for the masses. Well, yeah. unless you call a tribe of masses. Everybody's <laughs> got their, their own opinion what a chef is, and I think a chef is, is a title that's earned. I mean, I wouldn't even call myself a chef. I don't expect people to call me a chef. You don't think you're a pastry chef? I guess by job title I would be. Yeah. But, you know, I, when my students are in the class, I don't expect them to call me chef. I mean, oh, we come do on. Of, <laughs> That's so much fun. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's more like respect. I mean, they do, chef and it's, it's just a, <laughs> it's out of respect and admiration, I guess. And, yeah. and people I've worked with, I call them chef because I, I really, I look so, up to them, they're a mentor. So do you think it might be possible where you would do a 30-minute show on METV? Oh, I've been working with Charles, actually, and we're kind of come up with some ideas on something. To do. See? Yeah. I know where to go with these ideas. <laughs> yeah. I think that'd be great to have a local show mm -hmm. on METV and teaching not just the children, but oh, yeah. the adults that mm -hmm. pay. 
and like it, the Manatee Technical Institute has a yeah. program, but you it, part of that is interning through places like mine and mm -hmm. the the big hotels and the little university town yeah. plaza, just letting them know that it's available. And how much fun could it be to have a <laughs> chef show where you get to show people how to cook different yeah. stuff or mm -hmm. show them how to decorate a cake and. Oh, yeah. I, I can't the do secrets it. Of the kitchen. Oh no! There's even if you tell the secrets, there's some things people just can't do, which oh, yeah. is why they have to order it from you. Yeah. I cannot <laughs> ice a cake. I can uh. bake a cake. I cannot ice it. I have no talent for that at all. Yeah. It takes a steady hand, and it's. I think people are more aware about what they eat now, and with the. Uh, there's so many channels and shows about cooking. And oh, I know, yeah. but I've watched the cake shows, and I am just so jealous. The pies, the cake, the, the, yeah. the decorative look mm -hmm. that they come up with on some of these things. I've seen some, and it's like, oh! <gasps> now, I understand, are you doing a special um, a special Christmas gingerbread castle? Uh, we're going to be doing a model for the Welcome Center. A model of, okay, uh, I had heard something yeah. vaguely about that. So you and a couple of the other... Places are going to have like yeah. a little mini competition here in the village, maybe. Yeah, we're going to each each restaurant in in the, uh, in the villages. We're going to build like replicas of our stores. And oh, is that how it works? Place. It's yeah, going to yeah, look yeah. like sugar cubed, and yep. that's going to be your gingerbread house. <laughs> yeah, that's so cute. Well, at least you don't have a huge one. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> some of the two story to, houses. Yeah, right. A well. Victorian. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I have to do that. <laughs> So that that person would obviously win because yeah. it took a lot more work <laughs> yeah. to do. And your your you said you have two part times plus your interns. Um, are yeah. they? How do you utilize them? Is it just in the morning? Do they have other jobs? Is this just something where they wanted to learn it as well? Well, I've got one of my. Um, he's almost full time now. Well, Jeremy's kind of my uh, kind of my Backup. operation manager. He watches the store and everything when I'm gone. But he's a former student of mine. So I got to work with him for about six months. And I kind of knew his personality. And I knew you know, he's very smart. And, yeah. So I brought him in uh, full time. And then I've got another cake decorator that's part time. Um, she's got a couple of jobs kind of freelancing around town. So the schedule works with her as well. She can come in uh, when I have wedding cakes and stuff like that. Oh, too. great. Yeah. So it, it's she's freelancing. Yeah. Yeah, she's kind of a, a contractor. She's kind of she's stuff. a freelancer <laughs> rather than a part time employee. She's a freelancer. She yeah. comes in when you've got something for her, yeah. or when yeah. both you and Jeremy are busy mm -hmm. with events and catering and farmers market. Yeah. It all happens oh, at that. once. You call her in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that sounds like a good mm -hmm. plan. Where do you see it going in the future? It says, are you happy right where you're at? Do you want it to get bigger? Tell me what your vision is for oh. Sugar Cube. I think I just I never want to stop working. I guess. And I always want to build it, you know, I'd like to open several locations and kind uh, of, uh, you know, expand and keep getting bigger and doing more wholesale accounts and um, just creating, you know, a self-sustaining business out of it. And keeping people sugared. Keeping people happy. Yeah. Keeping people sugared <laughs> up. <laughs> now, sh you, you did mention that you're making some sugar-free. How, mm -hmm. how does that, how do you feel about the sugar-free thing, considering your place is sugar-cubed and your desserts are probably all high-calorie, even the sugarless ones? Uh, well, you can't avoid calories, and it's it's kind of a battle. You know, we, It's an indulgence. It is, yeah. We can use, you know, there are margarines and things that are low-calorie, but we only use butter in the bakery because... You know, margarine, oh. saturated fat, and, you know, and we don't and use shortening. Better. And yeah, butter is better. I I tried convincing a lot of people health wise. They're like, oh, butter's bad because it's fat, and it's like, yeah. do you know <laughs> what margarine and no, oleo yeah. are? Because <laughs> they're way worse. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Go back mm -hmm. to butter. It's real. <laughs> yeah. So I guess it really depends on what their physical condition is. Yeah. But overall, butter is far better for the body than oh, than the fake stuff. Yeah, that's all chemical and trans mm -hmm. fat. Okay, even if they take the trans fats out, it's still, what is it, one or two molecules from plastic? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah. like no, no. <laughs> it, it, smell, it might taste similar, but it's not the no. same. So you don't see the, little kids picking up no. sticks of oleo and <laughs> no. eating them, but you'll see little kids picking yeah. up sticks of butter that's and just true. chowing down. They, they know. Yeah. They know so what's that, good for them. I guess it's more of a kind of a European take we do on it. We just decided we're not going to use margarine or shortening. It's it's got to be butter and yeah, maybe a fattening, and it's going to be real sugar. But it's, it's going to taste real, richer. Yeah. It's yeah. got that really rich, mm -hmm. satisfying flavor. 
So, we are a website. Let's tell everybody out there in the whole world. Yeah. By the way, this is on Radio Ear Network, which is oh, awesome. a worldwide internet radio show. So, you're going to be out there. Let's tell everybody where your website is and where they can find out more about you yeah. and order some of your catered cakes. Absolutely. They can visit us www.getsugarcubed.com and we are on Facebook. Search for Sugar Cube or it's facebook.com slash getsugarcubed. Uh, we're also on Twitter at getsugarcubed and uh, you can call the bakery direct at 941-251-4092 and we are open seven days a week. Very, very cool. But until what time are you open seven days a week? Uh, Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. and Sundays 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Do you get much on that Sunday brunch? We yep. get uh, a lot of the church crowd and stuff. Just oh, a little that's sporadic. right. You're very yep. near the Harvest Church, yeah. aren't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. And and a couple others are very close yeah. by. Sacred Heart and some other. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Very nice. Okay. Have you advertised to them? We've put out a few flyers and stuff. Yeah. That we'll is so nice. Hang out in the parking lot and pass. <laughs> That's you've got to book that. Got to do every week. You've got to book week. that. Thank you so much for being on Culture Coast, Absolutely. and you know. I look forward to getting down there and trying some of your delectables, even though I can't have some of this chocolate. <laughs> Both <laughs> Both Thank, you. Thank you. Bye bye. Nightmares, frightful visions during the night, causing terror and loss of sleep. Daymares, frightful visions during the day, causing fear and paranoia. Goth mares. Gothic visions that can happen anytime, causing horror and disgust. But sometimes they offer answers. Read goth mares if you dare. <laughs> goth mares, a young adult novel by Al Musitano, available on Amazon and fine bookstores everywhere. Village of the Arts, the largest artist colony in the state of Florida, located on 42 acres, includes artists, homes, galleries, gardens, and restaurants featuring handcrafted gifts, fine art sculptures, painting, photography, enviro art, healing arts, books, mystics, and musical variety. A few of the galleries are unique in their offerings. Village Voices specializes in books and art created exclusively by Florida residents. The Dancing Crane Gallery offers fine art, custom jewelry, and unique innovative art. The Village Mystic offers all things metaphysical, meditation, massage, mediums, aromatherapy, psychic, shamans, reiki healing, and the gem mine where you can mine for your own personal treasure. Yoga Arts offers classes or one-on-one -on -one coaching. Musicians and bands can be found throughout the area. Many of the artists and musicians offer classes. Restaurants and bakeries provide respite for the weary and magic for the foodies. Visit during the first art Friday Art Walk and stroll through the shops and galleries enjoying free appetizers, wine, music, and demonstrations. For hours and information, please visit the website at www.villageofthearts.com.